What up YouTube, Dave here. Got another video for you today. Uh, I've been kind of busy in the shop and uh, I've been having, I've, I've had quite a bit of free time on my hands lately and uh, basically I've just been modding knives. Um, and what you see in front of you is a cold steel tough light. Definitely wanted to show you guys this. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it took a minute to do. Um, usually I can do a complete, you know, mod on a, on a knife in about a day or so maybe two day two days at the most and i mean that's grinding blades and changing everything up or whatever scales doesn't take too long at all uh but this was a little bit challenging this is uh the cold steel tie light is it's a grivery construction or grivery handles uh and it's kind of like there's no liners to it and there's just a lot of it's very simple very minimal in parts it's like it's the total parts i think is like you know like six parts it's you got the uh, two scale, your two scales. You got your knife, or the knife blade, and your lock back and pocket clip. So what's that? Like five, six, five, six parts. Whatever. Very minimal. No liners or anything like that. So there's not really too much to go by, and you have to really much, pretty much. You have to be pretty much on point um, as far as drilling your holes out because it all will affect the way it finally locks. Um, I wanted to do the. Uh, the mo uh, modification of this knife for a long time because I had never seen anybody do one on this, never. And I kind of figured out going through the process here the reason why. It's it's really tough, not much to work with, and for a knife that's only 20 some odd dollars, the 25 to $30 range, um, it's not worth doing unless you just kind of, like me, I just wanted to do it, you know, I like the knife a lot and, you know, I just wanted, to, I'm in the process of doing a bunch of these you know modifying knives so I'm in this groove and I want to learn a bunch of this stuff so to me it wasn't a big deal the time didn't matter uh, cost of materials yeah, I could care less I mean it was just fun to do it was a pain in the butt but it was fun to do so let's take a look at her uh, the cold steel tie um, tough light uh, only had pocket clip was left or right hand carry but it's only tip uh, tip down only on this side and that's one of the things I hated about one of the very few things I hated about the knife um, that and the fact that it was grivity, grivery handles. I mean, those are the only two beefs I, the two beefs I had with this knife at all. Um, so I wanted to change that up. And basically, what I went ahead and did is I used uh, this uh, camo G10. I, it's uh, it's OD green and a I don't know if it's a uh, coyote brown or whatever. It's kind of funny looking. I'm kind of still trying to figure out what tan coyote brown and which one's which or whatever earth, i know earth brown's the real dark stuff so i'm thinking this is coyote tan on there i could look back at the invoice but you know uh, and basically what i did is a kind of what like a scribbles pattern on this and you can really tell on this side that it kind of looks like the green's just scribbled on there and it's kind of you know just in this section i left this little area alone and stuff and tried to make it um original and over here you can see there's a i went ahead and this is been milled out with a pattern here because when you grab it, it just adds to the grip of your the knife you know your fingers fit right there and this of course is milled down to access the lock back or whatnot so let's take a look at her did a acid treatment on the blade uh, went ahead and acid dipped the screws here this these two screws like the pivot on this side and this and the um, standoff up here had to be a different size so I can get this lock to go because uh, I changed that up too and basically these screws were the coating on these screws are a lot more uh, resistance to the ferric acid than these screws are so but uh, the back side of the pivot did well and I, I think if I would have left it in there longer it would have turned uh, but I didn't want to sit there and leave it in overnight where you know it was just too long I, mean, I was just like you know what I'm just gonna do it that way and uh, to me it doesn't matter I, I don't think it looks too, too bad at all I actually think it look, looks kind of cool um, little scratch marks here on the uh, on the blade that was initial fitting uh, and, and some adjustments now that I got the adjustments on point I had to taper back uh, I had to taper back some of the um, the standoff to kind of even the opening up there. Um, I was a little off on that, and that's where I got these scratches from. But no big deal. Dip the redip the blade, and it's not anything. Uh, pocket clip. It's a uh, it rides a little lower than what it used to, being up here at the top. And I opted for using the same G10 for the pocket clip, and kind of put this kind of scorpion tail design uh, pocket clip there, which I really like. And I just been like lately, I've just been really take you know I wanted to carry 
the pattern onto the pocket clip, and I think it adds a lot of really good, you know, adds a good taste. I mean, I liked it a lot uh, when I did that. So that's the pocket clip there, and actually the lines uh, almost, they pretty much almost line up dead on. Um, and this is all contoured, so when you grab it, there's no hot spot whatsoever. I was really, you know, when I looked at this, I was really thinking about that. Um, the back spacer is actually aluminum, and the reason why it had to be that way, because I was thinking of a black G10 on there, but this, one of the reasons why this is such a pain in the butt to, uh, to do the modification to or do scale work on is the grivery handle and the back spacer, when they mold it, it's molded as one piece. So you have a grivery handle and the back spacer on one scale, um, and then the other scale is just basically the grivery, you know? And G10 will not hold the lock back tension bar in there uh, without giving way. Like, it won't break, but it won't give it the added tension so your lockup is going to be off. Because that was my one of my first, between this standoff and that little back spacer, it was a pain in the butt. So I had to mill this aluminum out. Uh, dipped it in the acid, and uh, it, it took pretty well. Uh, it's kind of got like a rustic, kind of worn look to it, as you can see. And I went ahead and continued on this same pattern of jimping here onto the backspacer. It is raised a little bit, which I like. Uh, I've been doing a lot. Some knives I do it too. Some, uh, some knives I don't. Sometimes I put the jimping flush with the scale. Uh, this one I opted to raise it because it kind of, as you can see, it kind of fits with the flow. You know, backspacer, lock back, and then dips down into the blade. So I thought it looked pretty well, or pretty good. I liked it. Um, so pretty nice. Lockup is, lock is solid on this guy. And that is hard to do. Um, maybe not for some experienced guys like, you know, Deets and, and Jeff and whatever, um, you know. But to me, it was a pain in the ass. It actually deploys better than it did originally. and But the, it's still rock solid. So, pretty happy with it. Let's take another look at it real quick. Uh, but this is what pretty much what I've been keeping myself busy with lately is just doing stuff like that. i got a couple other projects going on. Um, I got a ballast song I'm working on right now, doing some reshape the whole ballast song handles and everything. It's pretty cool. Uh, kind of took a break from that to go ahead and film this video because I kind of have to step back away from stuff from every once in a while and just catch a breath and maybe you know I'll, I'll get back to it tomorrow. So anyway, there you go, guys. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I really do with all the support and uh, comments are always welcome. Uh, just go ahead and you know whatever, post them below, like, favorite, whatever. And do all that cool stuff. Um, as far as doing this work for other people, because I've had a, uh, a few people ask me if I would do modifications on their knives and whatnot. And right now, no. I mean, if the, if the situation, you know, I don't know, it depends on the situation or something. If you were going to, let's say, if you wanted something crazy done to a knife and you were willing, uh, you were like, well, listen, if you do, I'll give you this knife for the work. And it was a knife that I was looking for, then yeah, maybe. But I'm not going to go ahead and do three or four knives because I simply, right now I have free time, but I don't know how it's going to be in the next couple weeks. So I may not have the time put aside to be able to do something or to really uh, take time out and make something original for somebody, you know, because that's pretty much what I try to do every time when I do it, which is hard because there's so many creative people doing pimp jobs and, um, you know, modifications and stuff like that. It's really hard to be original. So I'm trying my best, learning my way. Um, not as good as I'd like to be or some of the other guys that are out there, but, you know, I'm learning. But anyway, guys, like I said, thanks again for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Peace.